you rarely have to change your culture completely, but your culture has to be flexible. So what kills culture other than trying to copy larger brands? Well, one amazingly fast killer is when there's a team member who goes rogue, but they're still allowed to remain on the team. And what do I mean by that? Um, what I mean is when someone on your team is no longer happy and they begin acting out or they begin doing a poor job. Now you have to remember that everybody is always watching you. Your other team members are watching everything. And when they see somebody being allowed to give 70 or 50 or 30% at their job, when the rest of the crew is giving 100%, that becomes a virus and it infects other people fast. It makes the rest of your team upset that you as a leader are allowing somebody to be on the team who is not fully on the team. They're not a full team player. And that begins to infect the culture and the team productivity and the revenue and the happiness and pretty much everything else in your company.